We all know colonoscopy involves a complete examination via the anus, the rectum and the other parts of the colon till the level of cecum. Perhaps if the physician is unable to do a complete colonoscopy, then CPT manual gives us the ways in which this has to be reported. For example, the physician plans to do a colonoscopy, but he is unable to pass the scope beyond the splenic flexure. In that case, how do you code? We all know that the procedure is not complete, right? So what we need to know is, we need to determine what type of colonoscopy is that. Is that diagnostic or a therapeutic? And here the physician is unable to go or move the scope beyond the splenic flexure. So you would have to report that as a sigmoidoscopy. Don't worry, you don't have to remember all of these in your mind. There is something called as a colonoscopy decision tree in your CPT manual, which tells you how to report it based on the extent of where the scope has entered. Imagine a case where it is a case of a diagnostic colonoscopy where the physician wants to find out the exact abnormality in the patient but he is unable to pass the scope due to some poor prep or due to some obstruction. He cannot pass the scope till the level of cecum but he has crossed the splenic flexure. In that case, you need to report with modifier 53 for a diagnostic colonoscopy whereas you will have to report the modifier 52 which is a reduced service for a therapeutic colonoscopy. So please understand what is a motto or what is the nature of colonoscopy until where the physician has entered the scope.